dream song major. Alright, this is Spine, Atu, and Atiba. This, this is our OMG interview. We are Team Zig Boy. We've been in the music fraternity for over 10 years. Um, producing for likes like Marsha Montano, um, Alison Hines, Lyrical, Skinny Fabulous, and the school one. Um, we based in Central Trinidad. We work out at Studio X and um, we do everything basically musically. We've produced the breakout soca artist of the year, Adana Roberts, of the International Soca Monarch 2017 with the song Dotot. Tot, Tot, Tot. Currently we, we have a, a project going on where we getting ready to release our summer 2017 catalog mm -hmm. which comprises of some dance hall, some reggae and of course soca. Right, so we basically had a promotion, well have a promotion going on where we invite all artists where we put our catalog, which nobody never did, put our whole catalog up on SoundCloud so that you can preview. And then you have the, the option to hit us up on on, Insta, um, on Facebook or Instagram or even Gmail and tell us which project you like and the doors are open to work with anybody who is willing to work with us. All right. Normally what will happen is we as producers might sit in our studio and just create a piece of music and we might have people who we might have in mind to work with and then we might just contact them and get the music done or we might even go as far as writing the song, the perfect song for them and getting it done like that. This year we say we want to do it a little different and kind of do it in reverse where we do the music and leave it open to the, the young ones, the well-known ones to be a part of the project beforehand instead of we kind of steering the ship now, we leave it up to them to do that. We are all musicians, but we all have strengths and weaknesses. So um, I, I have a more DJ based style of production and uh, he's more a classical player where he more like the arranger musically in terms of like the scales and the chords and whatnot. He's the, the what, what do you say? The vibes master. The vibes master. The vibes yeah. master. So we, in, 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 in a nutshell, I'm Spine, this is the heart. This is the brain. So together we are Zigboy Music. I well, basically specialize in, in taking an idea from anybody's head, the client's head, and getting it into the machine. That is a big part of uh, a, it's a hard thing to do. Sometimes a client has an idea, but they're not sure musically how to get it into a computer or how to get it recorded. That is where I come in. I just take the idea and basically play it from keyboards or record it voice, record the vocals and take it from there. So after Atto basically capture the idea, what Tiba will do is basically refine it in terms of creating a different mood from the, the simple piece or the simple um, work that Atto created. And from there now I will come in and basically add something that is missing or take out something that is, might be too much and refine it basically, refine the whole piece of body sonically, make sure every instrument in the right place, make sure it's mixed proper basically. We knew each other a while. Um, their, their older brother Bayete Williams, he's actually what well, my friend before I, I met them. I was introduced to the booth by Bayete. And um, we had a band some years ago, probably like seven years ago with um, the Millionaire family as with Macamillion, Kerry John, Roland Octave, Father Moses and we had to basically put together some musicians to, to back um, the acts on that's for the carnival season I think that's for fire fet, a few fets we had and uh, these guys basically came to the rescue as musicians and since then we've been working from then on the biggest lesson um, I think we learned is togetherness there is always strength. Um, sometimes we, 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 we might think we could do it alone, but t two heads is always better than one, three heads is always better than two. And once you could play on each other's strengths and weakness, nothing could really stop you now. In the creative space, we, we all creative, so everybody will have a different opinion at times. But we, we just have a way to, to, to work it out. You know, in, in any family there will be quarrels in any relationship there will be dis disagreements. But we could we could disagree to agree or agree to disagree. 
you know and at the end of the day once the common goal is to win as we say it will get the, the product that we all looking for completed then mission accomplished um we have a we have a motto that we, we live by changing the world one meter at a time that is the motto as it boy and we also strive hard to literally save soca you know we defend our culture although we do other genre of music but soca is the one closest to our hearts that you know and the first thing most times to come out the speakers so our mission basically right now is to change the world with music if, if possible soca to be the best you must have the best so we, I strongly believe we are the best musicians and the best team production team there is in China, probably the Caribbean and we function out of the best studio in the Caribbean, Studio X. Alright, um, top of the line facilities, Tima. We're located at 136 Southern Main Road, Cuba and we have some of the best facilities um, like saw the Wazoo, some really really good speakers um, the room is expertly padded. Um, it's it's always a joy to go inside the space and be able to work inside the space and be able to be creative in the space. Um, and we have Curtis Hernandez to thank for that. Um, but it's 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 really every time you step into that room, you know something great is going to happen. To add to that, we will work with basic, basically. Did I say basically? To add to that, we will work with basically anyone. Um, the management team will find a way to compromise different things to find a way to connect music with different people. Um, that's it. We want to work with you. I think my OMG moment was probably standing on the semi-final stage behind Adana Roberts and and watching her perform because she she's a phenom by herself she is great um and and watching her move the crowd and hearing her translate some of my ideas to the audience and some of these ideas guys ideas to the audience and that was a, a real moment for me where i was like wow omg omg one of my OMG moments was basically hearing and seeing the energy or I would like to say the, the phenomena of the crowd singing one of the songs that we created which was Lyrical Freedom last year and the funny thing about it was not even like a local crowd in somewhere in Germany or somewhere where, where they don't even speak English and to see like hundreds of thousands of people in the streets or in the stadium they're singing it word for word amazing you know so that was definitely our OMG moment too. um for me it would be actually playing the music that i create at loud decibels in different venues as every time it blows your mind <laughs> and we want to thank everybody for tuning into our interview this is team zig boy spine ato atiba and uh, also don't forget to follow us at Zigboy, Z-I-G-B-O-I, not for the Y, I, don't ask me why, right? And um, follow me, Spine underscore one, follow Atto, Big Boy five, right? Follow Atiba. And I am Chike Child, C-H-I-K-E-C-H-I-L-D. You could also follow Studio X, Studio X 868 on Instagram and Facebook. And don't be strangers, man. Doors open, we were ready to work with any and everybody. It's on the way. Alright, so this is Spine, this is Team Zig Boy. Saying again, thanks for tuning in. Thank OMG, thanks, thanks for having us. Alright, bless.